After Oedipus's fate becomes clear, the end of the work is full of reflections about the human condition based on his experience. What emerges is a somewhat pessimistic view of human life, which has echoes of Job and Solon. The contrast is made between the heights which Oedipus attained and the depths of his despair. The chorus says, quote, he shot his bolt beyond the others and won the prize of happiness complete. He was called my king and hence was honored the highest of all honors and hence he ruled in the great city of Thebes, end quote. At the beginning of the work, he is referred to as, quote, the first of men in all chances of this life and, quote, the greatest in all men's eyes and, quote, the noblest of men. By contrast, to this great happiness, at the end, he has sunk to the depths of despair. Quote, but now whose tale is more miserable? Who is there lives with a savager fate? Whose troubles so reverse his life as his? At the beginning, he enjoys high respect and a great reputation at Thebes, but in the end, he's hated and disdained for his crimes. In one passage, the chorus asks, what man, what man on earth wins more of happiness than a seeming happiness? And after that, turning away. This view suggests that all human happiness is merely a kind of illusion that quickly passes. True happiness would be something enduring, but this is not possible for human beings. In the final lines of the play, we can hear an echo of the words of Solon to King Croesus. It's impossible to judge whether a person is happy until they're dead. The contingencies of human life are too great to make any determination while a person is still alive. The chorus enjoins the audience to look at Oedipus, quote, who knew the famous riddles and was a man most masterful, not a citizen who did not look with envy on his lot. See him now and see the breakers of misfortune swallow him. Look upon that last day always. Count no mortal happy till he has passed the final limit of his life secure from pain, end quote. No one could have imagined that such terrible things could befall a person who enjoyed such happiness and good fortune, but contingency and chance are a fact of human life. As humans, we must accept that we're not ultimately in control of our happiness or our destiny, even though we want to believe this.